Good morning, Grand Lake Trobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm Bailey Newell alongside Gianna Ferry, and these are your morning announcements. Lake Trobe Pool is still looking for lifeguards for the summer. If you are interested, interviews are starting at the beginning of April. You must have your application in before interviews. You can pick up an application at the Lake Trobe Parks and Recreation office in town. On April 2nd, World Autism Day, people around the world will light it up blue to raise awareness for the 70 million people living on, on the autism spectrum disorder. Please wear blue on April 2nd to show your support. Starting Monday, April 1st, the high school will be selling keychains to support this event. The keychains will be blue puzzle pieces that will be sold for $2.50 each. All proceeds will benefit the autistic support classrooms in the district. Thank you in advance for your support. The Social Studies Department is hosting several activities in celebration of Women's History Month. Today, students can view and discuss the film on the basis of sex during Lunch and Learn in 8206. Students may bring their lunch. Mrs. Ryder will be in C106 during both Lunch and Learn 1 and 2 on Friday, March 29th to answer questions regarding the College Board website and registering for the SAT. Now here is Josh Strecker with the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. It's time for your local weather report. Today, expect mostly cloudy skies with strong wind gusts throughout the day, along with a high of 62 and a low of 51. Tomorrow, expect mostly cloudy skies with small pockets of rainfall in the afternoon, along with a high of 61 and a low of 52. And Saturday, we will have some scattered rainfall throughout the day, along with a high of 65 and a low of 48. That's all for your weather report. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks, Josh. Do you want to work for GLSD this summer? Hours are Monday through Friday, 7 to 3.30, and at our 8.50 per hour. The work will include general cleaning, moving furniture, and some groundskeeping. If you are interested, please submit a resume by April 26th to Mr. Kurt Thomas, Director of Facilities, Operations, and Planning. Students are reminded to check the 11-12 student waiting area for job opportunities. Students are reminded to check the guidance webpage for scholarships. A variety of scholarships are added daily. The Schreier Honors College at Penn State University will host its Spring Scholars Day Open House on Friday, April 12th. This is an opportunity for prospective students and their families to learn more about the Schreier's Honors College and Penn State through scholar student panels and presentations by deans and the admissions staff. Stop by the 11-12 office for a flyer. All students who have scheduled capstone need to submit their applications to Ms. Logan by Friday, March 29th in room S110. Admission to the course will not be guaranteed unless completed applications have been submitted on time. Students will be notified of their acceptance by school email, so please check the following week. See Mrs. Logan with any questions. We go now to Connor Mondock for the Wildcat Sports Report. Thanks, Diana, and welcome to the Wildcat Sports Report. The softball team heads to Armstrong for their game at 345 and the boys' volleyball team has the Penn Hills for their game at 7.30. That's all for sports. Back to you guys. Thanks, Connor. The Westmoreland County Chamber of Commerce is offering the Leadership Westmoreland Youth Academy to rising sophomores, juniors, and seniors. The Leadership Westmoreland Youth Academy will run from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. from June 17 to June 21. Students will be introduced to leadership concepts, as well as see them in action with local businesses and community leaders. Students who wish to apply should see Mr. Princeton in the 11-12 office ASAP. Applications are due April 1st. Attention all book enthusiasts. There are a number of discarded books available for students to take and keep permanently from the library. These are on the cart inside the main library entrance. Please help yourself. More books will be added in the coming days and weeks, so check back often. First come, first serve. Attention all Chick-fil-A Leader Academy participants. The date and location of next week meeting has been changed to Monday during Lunch and Learn in H108. All participants must attend as final arrangements will be made for the impact project. The Interact Club is still in need of a lot more pictures of you and your pets to help promote the Playing for Paws reverse roll basketball game coming up in May. All proceeds of the game will go towards Action for Animals and Helping Hearts and Healing Tales Animal Rescue. Please send all pictures to Elena Mazur to help promote the event and possibly be featured as the Pet of the Week. Now, here is Preston Yangling with what's cooked in. What's cooking, Latrobe? It's Thursday, March 28th, and the main line is cooking up a bacon ranch sandwich alongside tater tots and mixed vegetables. 
Over in the cultural corner is honey sriracha chicken with fried rice and more mixed vegetables. Finally, the soup of the day is chicken florentine. That's what's cooking. Thanks and back to you guys. Are you interested in winning a $100 gift card? Reed Pennsylvania is sponsoring an art contest open to 8th through 10th grade students in southwestern Pennsylvania. The winning student will receive a $100 gift card and their artwork will be featured on a billboard in, Bre in Bree, Pennsylvania's service area. Submit student artwork on an 8.5 by 11 inch paper that addresses why teens shouldn't vape or the harms of vaping. Each piece of art must have the student's name, grade, class, and period, period written legibly in pencil on the back of their artwork. All student submissions must be turned into Mrs. Schmeling no later than April 24th. Please see Mrs. Schmeling in C204 during Lunch and Learn 2 for any details. Reporting for WCAT-TV, this has been Gianna Ferry and Bailey Knoll. Thanks for watching and have a great day.